know, when I trained as a, a journalist 25 years ago, we were taught, and I'm sure you were taught also, that you um, check your source, you check it again, and you check it again, um, because that is the foundation and the founding principles of what journalism is. Um, it's, it's reporting the truth, investigating it, and bringing it to the public where people can wholly trust it, and also challenging those in power and, and holding them to account. Citizen journalism is something that I have seen rise over recent years, and I've been talking about it for years, and I do worry about it because also in those digital news reports um, that are produced every year, we get asked about, you know, who do we look for and who do we look towards on social media? And more recently, the percentage of respondents saying that they're looking at influencers, those citizen journalists, that's growing. Um, And that is worrying because, remember, citizen journalists may be coming with their own bias. They wouldn't have the independence that a journalist would have. Uh, They wouldn't have the training and the expertise and those founding principles that journalists would have. And also we have citizen journalists that have nefarious intentions, you know, whether they're ideological, uh, they're political, they're economic. But if we don't have a strong, independent media sector, it's a real threat to democracy. I do worry about it. And... My response to that is the voice of mainstream media, trained journalists, and even those elected reps um, needs to get stronger and they need to take social media seriously and see it for what it is. And it's where people are putting their attention.